today we're going to be reading, I Don't Want to Go to Bed. Little Tiger wouldn't let Mommy Tiger clean his face and paws, and he wouldn't listen to his bedtime story. One night, Mommy Tiger lost her temper. When Little Tiger said, I don't want to go to bed, Mommy Tiger roared, All right then, you can stay up all night. Little Tiger couldn't believe his luck. He scampered off into the jungle before Mommy Tiger could change her mind. Little Tiger went to visit his best friend, Little Lion. When he arrived, Little Lion was having his ears washed. It's bedtime, roared Daddy Tiger. Why are you still up? I don't want to go to bed, said Little Tiger, and he skipped off into the jungle before Daddy Lion could wash his ears too. Little Tiger decided to, to visit his other best friend, Little Hippo. He found him splashing in the river, having a bedtime bath. It's bedtime, bellowed Daddy Hippo. Why are you still up? I don't want to go to bed, said Baby Tiger, and he scurried off into the jungle before Daddy Hippo could give him a bath, too. Little Elephant was Little Tiger's best friend as well. He went to visit him next. Little Tiger was not out playing. He was in bed, listening to his bedtime story. It's bedtime, trumpeted Mommy Elephant. Why are you still up? I don't want to go to bed, said Little Tiger, and he bounced off into the jungle before Mommy Elephant could put him to bed, too. Little Tiger thought he would go and find Little Monkey, but he found Mommy Monkey first. She put a finger to her lips and whispered, Little Monkey is fast asleep. Why are you still awake? I don't want to go to bed, Little Tiger whispered back. Quickly, he tiptoed into the jungle before Mommy Monkey made him fall asleep too. Little Tiger didn't know where to go next. It was the first time he'd been in the jungle so late by himself. Even the sun had gone to bed. Suddenly, it seemed very dark. <gasps> what was that? Little Tiger looked up and saw... Two very large yellow eyes staring back at him. The eyes belonged to a bush baby. Shouldn't you be in bed, she asked. I don't want to go to bed, said Little Tiger bravely. You haven't? That's because I go to bed when the sun rises, said Bush Baby. Little Tiger couldn't imagine going to bed in the sunshine. He shivered and thought how cold and dark it was in the jungle at night. I'm going to take you home, said Bush Baby. Your mommy will be worried about you. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go to bed, said Little Tiger. But he didn't want to be left alone in the dark either. So Little Tiger followed Bush Baby through the jungle. He was glad of her big bright eyes showing him the way back home. We're almost there, said Bush Baby as Little Tiger's steps became slower and slower. I don't want to go to said Little Tiger, sleepily dragging his paws. Oh, there you are, said Mommy Tiger, just in time for bed. I don't want to, <gasps> yawned Baby Tiger, and he fell fast asleep. Mommy Tiger tucked him in and turned to Bush Baby. But the den was empty. Bush Baby had disappeared into the jungle before Mommy Tiger could tuck her in, too. The end. Have a good day.